I'm Dr. Saupanika, consultant in reproductive medicine at Samyam Fertility and Medical Center, Chandapura, Bangladesh. What is embryo freezing? Is it that we keep the embryos in refrigerator? This is what they ask me. Today, I want to tell you a simple thing how the embryos are frozen. I think you have seen these seeds. These are the green grafts which have been dried. Basically, whenever we get excess of crop, what we do is we'll just remove the water content from them and then just keep it aside so that they don't get rotten. And whenever we want, we soak it in the water and get the sprouts out like this. Okay. So this is what we do in a embryo also. What we do is whenever we are freezing the embryo, we are just taking out the water content which is there inside either by a process called as slow freezing or a fast process called as vitrefaction. And then we are going to freeze it in a liquid nitrogen. Then whenever we plan for an embryo transfer, we do a process called thawing. What is this thawing? We reintroduce the water content into the cells and make them metabolically active. That means like how a seed sprouts in the similar way the cells start multiplying. It is at that time we undergo a process called embryo transfer. So how many days can I freeze my embryos? You can freeze your embryos for about 10 years without any other hazard. That means even if you are freezing embryos for 2 years also, the same risk will be there. Even if it is at 10 years, the same risk will be there. And secondly, it is not as easy as we dry the seeds and then regenerate it. Definitely, there are years together which our embryologists have invested on rectifying the mistakes which they have done. And today, the embryos have come to a stage that if I have frozen 100 embryos, and when I thaw it, I get around 98 embryos which are alive. That means the freeze thaw rate is 98%. A big thanks to our embryologists. Thank you. <laughs>